Did you know that one of Hollywood's brightest stars, Halle Berry, once came dangerously close to ending her own life? That's right, the radiant actress we all know and love nearly made a tragic decision after her marriage to baseball star David Justice fell apart. But there's more to her story than meets the eye. Today, we're diving into the life of Halle Berry, exploring her early struggles, her rise to fame, and how she built a $90 million empire. And stick around till the end, I'll reveal the secret behind why Halle Berry once contemplated taking her own life, and how she ultimately found the strength to pull back at the last moment. Let's get started. Background of the Halle Berry. Halle Berry, an iconic American actress and a symbol of beauty and talent, was born on August 14, 1966, in Cleveland, Ohio. She is the youngest daughter of Jerome Jesse Berry, who worked as a hospital attendant, and Judith Ann Hawkins, a psychiatric nurse. Halle's early life was marked by the separation of her parents when she was just four years old. This separation left her mother to single-handedly raise Hallie and her older sister, Heidi Barry Henderson. Growing up in a predominantly white neighborhood in Cleveland, Holly faced numerous challenges, including prejudice and discrimination. She often spoke about being teased at school and experiencing exclusion because of her mixed race. Despite these hardships, Hallie's mother instilled in her a strong sense of pride in her identity and culture, encouraging her to embrace her uniqueness. As a teenager, Hallie developed an interest in beauty pageants. Her natural beauty and grace shone through as she began to compete in various competitions. In 1985, Hallie won the Miss Teen All-American pageant representing the state of Ohio. This early success in beauty pageants laid the foundation for her future career in entertainment. After graduating from Bedford High School, she attended Cuyahoga Community College in Cleveland, where she studied broadcast journalism. However, Hallie soon realized that her true passion lay in the world of modeling and acting, prompting her to move to New York City to pursue her dreams. How did Halle Berry get famous? Halle Berry's journey to fame began with her foray into modeling. After relocating to New York City, her career as a model quickly gained momentum. She appeared in numerous high-profile publications, including Harper's Bazaar, Elle's, and Vogue. Her striking looks and captivating presence made her a sought-after model, and she soon became a familiar face in the fashion industry. Despite her success in modeling, Hallie's true ambition was to become an actress. She decided to move to Los Angeles to pursue acting full-time, enrolling in classes at the prestigious actor studio to hone her craft. In 1989, Hallie landed her first role in the television series Living Dolls, a spin-off of the popular show Who's the Boss? Although the show was short-lived, it provided Hallie with valuable experience and exposure in the entertainment industry. Her big break came when she was cast in Spike Lee's critically acclaimed film Jungle Fever, 1991, where she played the role of Vivian, a drug addict. This role showcased Hallie's versatility and acting prowess, garnering her significant attention and praise from critics. Awards and Accolades Halle Berry's career reached new heights in 2001 when she made history by becoming the first African-American woman to win the Academy Award for Best Actress. She received this prestigious accolade for her powerful performance in the film Monster's Ball, where she portrayed Letitia Musgrove, a struggling widow. This groundbreaking achievement not only solidified her status as a leading actress in Hollywood, but also paved the way for greater diversity and representation in the film industry. In addition to her Oscar win, Halle received a Golden Globe Award and a Screen Actors Guild Award for her role in Monsters Ball. Throughout her illustrious career, Halle Berry has been recognized with numerous awards and nominations. She won a Primetime Emmy Award and a Golden Globe Award for her portrayal of Dorothy Dandridge in the HBO television film Introducing Dorothy Dandridge. 1999. This role was particularly significant for Halle, as Dorothy Dandridge was the first African-American actress to be nominated for an Academy Award for Best Actress. Halle's portrayal paid tribute to Dandridge's legacy and showcased Halle's exceptional talent. In 2007, Halle Berry was honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, commemorating her contributions to the entertainment industry. 
Her continued success and ability to take on challenging and diverse roles have earned her critical acclaim and a dedicated fan base. Investments and Business Ventures Halle Berry's success in the entertainment industry has allowed her to venture into various business endeavors and investments, further growing her wealth. In 2014, she launched her own production company, 606 Films, with the aim of creating content that promotes diversity and provides opportunities for underrepresented voices in Hollywood. This move allowed Halle to take on a more active role in the creative process and bring compelling stories to the screen. In addition to her production company, Halle has made strategic investments in the beauty and wellness industry. She collaborated with a French company to introduce a line of organic beauty products, leveraging her influence and commitment to natural and sustainable living. Halle's foray into the beauty industry has been well received with her products gaining popularity for their quality and effectiveness. Halle has also explored fashion design, creating a line of shoes for the German shoe company Dijkman. Her keen sense of style and fashion expertise have made her designs a hit among consumers. These business ventures, combined with her acting career, have contributed significantly to Holly's financial success. Net Worth and Earnings As of 2024, Halle Berry's net worth is estimated to be around $90 million. This impressive figure is the result of her successful acting career, business ventures, and strategic investments. Halle's earnings from her work in film and television have been substantial, with some of her most lucrative roles, including her appearances in the X-Men series, Die Another Day, and Catwoman. For instance, Halle reportedly earned $14 million for her role as Storm in the X-Men series, which spanned multiple films from 2000 to 2014. Her performance in the James Bond film Die Another Day, 2002, also earned her a substantial paycheck of $4 million. These high-profile roles, along with her continued success in the industry, have made Halle one of the highest-paid actresses in Hollywood. In addition to her acting income, Halle's business ventures and endorsements have further bolstered her financial portfolio. Her beauty line and fashion collaborations have been particularly profitable, adding to her overall net worth. Halle Berry's financial acumen and ability to diversify her income streams have ensured her lasting success and financial stability. In 2007, Halle Berry revealed in an interview with Parade Magazine that she contemplated suicide following the end of her marriage to baseball star David Justice. She had planned to end her life by inhaling carbon monoxide in her car, but reconsidered at the last moment. Reflecting on that pivotal moment, Barry shared, I was sitting in my car and I knew the gas was coming when I had an image of my mother finding me, she said. She sacrificed so much for her children and to end my life would be an incredibly selfish thing to do. That's all for today, folks. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content.